That's Ray Lewis and Shorty. That's the best of Baltimore 2016. That's Shorty. Alright. That's Amnesty International and Shorty. Amnesty International 2014. Safe Community Town Halls. Alright. That's me. Dwayne Davis is a Baltimore activist. He's been involved in the issues including corruption in the judicial system, police brutality, political transparency, and prison military industrial complex. You feel me? I'm an activist, and this is an activist's house. All right? This is a house of activism. N62528. I'm a political prisoner living in exile in my own country. You know what I'm saying? For the last 15 years, I've been illegally incarcerated. I've been denied work. My property has been taken because I want to end the war on drugs to address the violence that you're experiencing in Baltimore City, Chicago, Illinois. This, this violence that you experienced was by design. President Nixon designed it with the Southern strategy. Bill Clinton perfected it. Biden signed off on it. So did Kwasi and Fume. Within the penitentiaries, blacks have created an extension of the ghetto. That's TJ Smith. You either a witness or a defendant because you got evidence and you got a deck of cards. There's 52 members of the Democratic Party that participated in this. That's Will Smith. All right. You can either be a defendant or, or, or however you want to play it. But this is black reality from 1986. All right. I did this in 1986. Black reality. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? That's my producer, Rob Fix. And that's the case. 0804. All right. That's the case. 14% drug users, 56% of the incarcerated. All right. That's from 2011. Right here, U.S. Codes. Whoever having knowledge of actual commission of a felony cognizable by a court of law in the United States conceals and does not as soon as possible make known to the same judge or other persons in civil or military authority under the United States shall be fined under the title of imprisonment not more than three years or both. You feel me? That's the law. That's Judge Cox. And the jury request, the grand jury request, a federal grand jury. That's Scott Schellenberger. Those are criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. And Peter Francott got this. Delegate Smith got this. Chief Hyatt got this. Yeah. 2-11-2011. And that's my address. It was filed in 2021. Man held in toilet caper. I filed it in Baltimore County, too. That's the case in Baltimore County. And that's been in Baltimore County for a while. Like I said, that's two or four. On February the 2nd at, two at, at February the 2nd at 8.52 a.m., I blew the whistle on Governor O'Malley and 52 members of the mom party. I was making a movie, Get Shorty. All right? On February the 6th, I shot footage of the movie at the Towson Courthouse. I left a toilet exposing the courts and the corruption in the courts. I'm a whistleblower. And the movie's directly tied to Scott Schellenberger. All right? Violations of his office. I was headed to Las Vegas on February the 10th. I was supposed to return on February the 13th. You can check the Southwest Airline tickets. On February the 7th at 2 p.m., Scott Schellenberger had me falsely arrested from my home on 1402 Lochner. That's filed. And computer, 13 movies. All right. I won my case, found innocent of all charges. All right. Means, motive, opportunity, elements, crimes of kidnapping, 2-2-2007. Two, two, Do not destroy this evidence. It's my intellectual property covered under the Constitution. You see that? That's filed with the District Court of Maryland. I was making a movie about Governor O'Malley stopping Frisk and Zero Tolerance. And I was using my store to finance it. The same way that y'all going after Mayor, uh, going after Mosby for income tax evasion and fraud, you got to go after Jake Davis, James Hammond, Brother Insurance, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank. Bank of America already got a tape and already told you that this was corruption and was fiduciary fraud. 
So you got to charge Jake Davis, Deron Battle, Michael Coons, Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr. Because I got sole proprietorship. Nobody got a right to sign my checks. So you're going to go to jail for that. I was locked up in another state. You feel me? Right there. I was a prisoner. Inmate. President Obama, Senator Obama asked for an investigation in 2008. Dear President Obama. See that? 1402 Lochner. 11, 2009. Independence. Dwayne G. Davis, political prisoner, N62528. The Minority Report. The Great Race Debate. I was locked up in another state. You see that? Dwayne G. Davis, 526-2008. I wasn't in the state of Maryland. All right? I'm a whistleblower. And that's Eric Holder of the Department of Justice. I'm not a jailhouse snitch. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. You feel me? That's an interstate compact. All right? Offenders application for transfer. 6-3-2008 is when I came back to Maryland. All right? That's the case. I never got a trial. You can go get my FBI paperwork too. 1402 Lochner. This is the property that you took. This property right here. It's hereby ordered that any defendant's personal property being held in evidence to be returned to me on January of 2010. I never got that back. That's my lawyer. 2009. I never got a trial. I went to the Supreme Court with this. Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. This is the follow-up letter and closes a video dated 2010. It includes the tape phone calls to Melissa. I followed up on your instructions. The whistleblower report concerning the courts. It's not an easy task. That's 2013. Like I said, I was making a movie. And I used the toilet to do it. Totally don't care if you black, white, straight, or gay. I totally take your shit every day. You see who that is? You see that toilet? That's my family. You kidnapped me from my family. This is 2007, April, at my Country Red store. All right, at the Country Red store. If you ask my opinion on whether you should be considered convicted in a 1986 case, you reading that? Zero set. Did you see that? I'm innocent of them charges. I want it on appeal. You took property from me. This property right here. All right. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle in the 1999 Chevy Suburban registration number. All right. Date of birth 12 26 59. You feel me? February 7th, 2011. You took property from me. Like I said, you took property from me. You took property because I put a toilet in front of the courthouse. You feel me? Dwayne G. Davis. That's certified, notarized. All right? From the Internal Revenue Service. You're going to have to have an audit. All right? An audit. I IRS audit. I asked for that in 2012. That's me. I'm the founding member of the Baltimore Block. That's the jailhouse diary from 2007. All right? And I got everything in there. This is Shorty Pull Your Mask Up. No. You're going to unmask Baltimore. I didn't give you permission to use my name or likeness to promote this masking of Baltimore. That's the criminal charges in Baltimore County. And you've seen the criminal charges in Baltimore City. That's me, Shorty, a champion for justice. I am Dred Scott. No, I'm not. We made a snitching video. Because y'all made a stop snitching video? Well, I made a snitching video. That's from the jailhouse in Waukegan, Illinois. The Department of Justice. Tampering with mail is a legal offense. Sent from a correctional facility. Department of Justice. Wam Kim. Senator Connors. Ben Cardins of Maryland. Barack Obama of Illinois. That's from 2000 and what? Yeah. Y'all locked me up on February the 7th. Charged me with a terrorist act. You knew about that. You didn't release the material to the voters before this happened. You see that date? That's this date. 
That's Baltimore County Claims Management. And right here it says, all photos by Baltimore County Police Department, all di diagrams, all right? And it says the material was worth $5,000 for the truck and the contents of the vehicle was worth $250 million. That's filed, all right? That's already filed. That's President Obama. I voted for him. That's Wayne Kim from the Department of Justice, Kerry Cogwa. That's me in Illinois, May 8th, 2008. Want to save a cop's life? In the war on drugs. That's the Baltimore Sun. You feel me? So like I said, Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. We're going to show you the corruption. Welcome to the shit show. And I got a lot of shit to show you. I'm going to show you Kai Jackson and Mary Mubala. That's my birthday toilet. All right. Proud daughter. Love and kisses. Love you forever. Happy birthday for my 60th birthday. I got one book. That's two books. That's three books. That's four books. Welcome to the shit show. That's the Department of Justice. That's WBL. And that's D'Souza. And Theroux just got in endorsed by D'Souza. So we know what Theroux is about. It's about the corruption in your courts. The Baltimore Sun, Brent Jones, yeah. The Department of Justice. Like I said, I'm giving classes today. We're giving classes about justice. And it ain't going to be just us. Welcome to the shit show. Now right here, like I said, I was locked up in Illinois. That's Mr. Bailey, my lawyer. This letter is a follow-up to our DVD tape phone call in 2010. All right? That's my house of 1402 Lochner. That's called kidnapping. When you take my property and you take me. You feel me? That's Mayor Scott. That's President Biden. That's President, I mean, Governor Hogan and Brian Frost. That's 2016. All right? Illinois and Maryland to hold a federal and interstate hearing so the eye of the world to see it. Cardins, the chairman of the World Court and Human Rights Commission. I have applied for political asylum to be deported back to my, any country that takes blacks as they're in their ghetto, all right? Making a statement of fact. That's President Obama. That's Lisa Madigan. That's Patrick Fitzgerald. That's the director of the FBI. That's Governor Quinn, Governor O'Malley, Lake County Board. That's Judge Bell. You feel me? Snowden, Eric Holder, Senator Cardins, Karen Parks from Fox 45, Roland Martin, Baltimore Office at NAACP, and Don Lemon, and that's certified. That means it's legal in any state in the world. God bless America. I got the 2021 Weaver Award. It took me 11 years to get this, but I got justice. You feel me? Don't take my kindness for weakness. All right, it's the beast in me, and it's a time to pee. So I made a book about peeing on people. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. You don't get as wet. You feel me? That's the Weaver Award. Because I got a Weaver Award. And everything I've been doing, I got it on SD cards. So, Theroux, release all material to the voters. Let's talk about that. That's Governor Hogan. That's Delegate Sitnor. Yeah, you feel me? You see where I'm going with this? That's Will Hanna. And we're going to talk about race and racism 2021. Welcome to the Shorty Sideshow. Yeah, welcome to the Sideshow. We're going to talk about race and racism. That's my crown award. That's another book, The Cover-Up Crew. And like I said, I'm the best of the best in Baltimore, 2021 and beyond. To be the best, you got to beat the best, and you ain't beat me yet. Y'all owe me money. Baltimore Claims Court. I was making a movie. Stop snitching video. You feel me? Ain't no law against making a movie. Let the world see Baltimore. NAACP? Yeah. NAACP got this too. So the Kathleen Hughes, TV One, Radio One, Roland Martin, Roland Ascot Martin, Jason Rodriguez, Larry Young. Yeah, 
We're going to show you about racism. We're going to show you about money. Racism don't work without black cooperation. We're going to follow the money. Because I was making a movie. So make sure the root tell the truth. Release all the material to the voters. That stop snitching video. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. It's a Rob Fix production. You feel me?